You're still watching Plus Politics. Now, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has stated that it has not zoned its 2023 presidential ticket to any part of the country. The National Publicity Secretary, Debo Ologun Ologunapa, made this known in a statement. Now, a former member of the People's Democratic Party who defected to the ruling of Progressive Congress in 2021, Femi Fanikayade, had on Friday alleged that the PDP already zoned the party's presidential ticket to former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. However, reacting to this statement, the PDP said Fanikayade's statement was completely misleading. It urged Nigerians to completely disregard the zoning claims as being peddled. It also cautioned those behind the claims to desist. Well, joining us to discuss this is Ibrahim Abdullahi. He is the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you very much, Mr. Abdullahi, for joining us. Hello, thank you. Good evening. Great. It's good to have you. What exactly, uh, I'll just get right to it, what exactly is the PDP's um, plan for the presidential ticket as we await, you know, campaign season is around the corner and 2023 is also, uh, you know, in view. Um, I ask this because, you know, in um, September of 2021, um, the governors in the party uh, had met, you know, on this same issue uh, of zoning, but nothing really came out of it and nothing is yet being decided. So what exactly is the plan? <laughs> Mr. Abdullahi, can you hear me? It's still plus politics. We apologize for the um, network and the technical issues that we've been experiencing. But we're still being joined by the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Ibrahim Abdullahi. Now, Mr. Abdullahi, before the line went off, I was asking what the plan of the PDP is in terms of the presidential ticket and the zoning issues, because... Like I said, in September of 2021, governors of the PDP met on the same issue of zoning, but then nothing really has been decided. So I ask again, what is the plan? Well, uh, what do you mean? Uh, uh, let me begin by uh, educating you and Nigerians that uh, the PDP, like you would have known, is a political party that is given to uh, rule of law. It is one party that believes in the proper way of doing things. Now, we are careful about the choice of who to write the ticket of the party in 2023. Now, it is that quotient that is being in the circumspection with regards to who will be called eventual standard bearer of the party. The meeting of the governors, like you stated, was also geared towards ensuring that consensus and dialogue is uh, put in the front door. It also that we don't hear the water. Now, there are speculations within the party that um, the party may throw open its presidential ticket um, to everyone. In other words, everybody is allowed to throw their hat into the ring. Also, the whole of last year, we also saw some groups, pressure and ethnic groups, asking that not just the PDP, but including the APC and other political parties, should, not, should, should jettison the idea of zoning and allow everyone who's able and capable to run for that office to do so, and then the best man wins spirit of democracy, you have to allow anybody who is prepared and willing, once they are not disenfranchised by law, to try their waters. Anyone can throw his heart in the ring. And if we zero or narrow it to the north, or even to the south in particular, we will be denying democracy its uh, uh, origin uh, tendencies. What we are trying to do is that anyone, but before getting to that level, 
we are passing now are interfacing with critical stakeholders to ensure that dialogue and uh, peaceful resolution of the matters before us uh, are put in the front burner. It is only when we cannot reach that point then we will throw the entire presentation. We have a lot of to try. At the same time, exploring the dialogue, to see if concession and uh, reconciliation can be the, the, the eventual uh, standard bearer. But if it doesn't, we are starting to try to throw their hearts both in the ring to contest. And it is outside, um, after the primaries, that we are going to reach uh, an amicable resolution of the eventually. Well, I'm curious to know why all of a sudden the PDP, which was very, you know, supportive of the zoning formulas, is now saying, well, this is the true spirit of democracy. I'm asking this because there are zones in this country that feel left out, especially the southeast. We've seen agitations, we've seen moves and talks, not just in the PDP, but outside of the PDP for the south to be, especially the southeast, to be given an opportunity at this presidential seat. So where does the PDP come in, in in this issue? Because I understand, I get where you're coming from, that you know everybody has to be given an opportunity and may the best man win. But this is something that the PDP had always thrown its weight behind. Why, may I ask, is the PDP going in this direction? What could have informed this new move? I'm still coming back to my response, the first one I told you. We have learned our lessons. Don't forget, PDP has been in this country for 16 years before it lost power, uh, albeit uh, gallantly, to the APC in 2015. And uh, from 2015 to 2022 that we are now, and by the grace of God, by 2023, when the ruling party will be shown its way out, PDP has learned enough lessons to ensure that those criticisms, those things that Nigerians were not comfortable with, such like imposition, such like um, uh, impunity in the way things were done in time past, PDP is learning its lesson, and I can admit it has learned sufficient lessons to throw back democracy to the people so that they will decide in themselves how these things are going to be done. And one of the few things we have learned going forward is this idea of ensuring that there are primaries either at the world or local government or state or even the national level is thrown to the people and allowing people who are interested and who have fulfilled the righteousness and have satisfied the requirements to try and contest. And when this is done, I know that we're. I know that we're, we're having a connection issues with you, but quickly before I let you go, um, the PDP again. I know. Uh, or again, let me just act like I do not know. Isn't it the case that when you um, zone the party chairmanship to a particular place, it automatically means that another zone is given the ticket to run for the party? Cor correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the people in the southeast that seem to be f to be feeling um, left out, is it that they do not have enough structure within the party that can allow the party to give them a, an opportunity at that uh, seat uh, of the presidency? Or what exactly is it about the southeast that the, the PDP is not looking in that direction? Don't forget, I also spoke with um, someone on, from the APC who said that they might just be looking at the south. And this is what many people are talking about, zoning to the south. Might the PDP be losing out again in 2023 if they're not necessarily feeling the pulse of the people? If I don't understand correctly, democracy is not done with sentiment. Democracy is an open contestation where uh, the fittest is able to live on the majority will always have their case and the minority will have their case. Uh, 
Uh, apologies, Mr. Abdullahi. Unfortunately, w the network connection is terrible and we could not hear you, but we're hoping that we can have you back at another time to have this conversation. Ibrahim Abdullahi is the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party. And that's it on PLOS Politics. Thank you all for being part of the conversation. I am Mary Anakul. We'll see you tomorrow as we talk about the polity of the nation. Have a good evening.